Hi and welcome. Thanks for dropping by. My name is Bart and in this video I'll talk about plans for my scratch build for Great Guitar Build Off 2022. And you'll get to see the start of the build. If you happen to watch episode 1, you're probably aware that my build will be a tribute to a friend of ours who, after a battle with cancer, passed on early in February this year. Now he loved his cars and one car in particular that he took great care of and restored to mint condition is his 1991 BMW E34, a 520i. And I thought I would use that car as design inspiration for my build. Now what exactly would a guitar that is designed based on a car look like? Would it look like a car? Well, some do, but that is not what I plan to do. I do not wish to have the body shape, for example, looking like this or this. Instead, I thought I'll take a look at some parts of the car and see how I can incorporate ideas from the design of the car into the guitar. For example, you see these lines running along the sides of the car, chrome and black. What if I were to take that and try and do a binding that goes around the middle of the sides of the guitar? That's one idea I have. A more distinctive feature of this car, the hubcaps. What if I were to take that and make them sound holes, like a semi-acoustic guitar and use this design for sound holes, something like this. Well, this car had a six cylinder engine, but a six in line, not a V6. And so with that in mind, obviously it makes sense to go with six in line tuners rather than the three by three or four by two or any other configuration. So we'll do that for the guitar. And what about the 12th fret inlay? So I was looking at various parts of the car and the thing that jumped out at me was the gear selector knob. So far, those are the ideas I have. Um, along the way, during the build, I might see whether there's something else that inspires me to incorporate a design idea into the guitar. But if you watching this right now, if you have some suggestions, please feel free to leave a comment and share your thoughts with me. Uh, if it's something that I think I'll be able to do and would add to the guitar, then that's something that I'll seriously consider putting in as well. Unlike last year, when I did all my work in this very room in the apartment in which we live, this year I'm paying for, to occasionally use a maker space, gray space by Maker Initiative. And one of the pluses of being able to use that space is to use the tools that they have there, which I do not have access to at home. For example, the table saw, which I used to cut up strips of timber for the neck blank. Now, it was the very first time I was using a table saw, so I took my time and tried to get things as safe as possible, as accurate as possible. Well, one of the downsides of working in that uh, maker space is that the table saw is set up outside in a sheltered area, but if it rains heavily, it gets wet. And that's what happened the day that I was sawing up. So I started with the first strip, second strip, and I had it on video. And then I had the camera off thinking I would just shoot the final bit. And all of a sudden the rain hit and I had to stop. So I had to finish up with my old Ryoba back here. Handsaw, back to the handsaw, but it worked.
In addition to the beech and nara timber, I use veneers in the neck blank. Uh, Santos rosewood and uh, Burmese camphor. Between the outer strips, I put in three layers of veneer, so it would be um, rosewood, camphor, rosewood. But between the middle two pieces of beach, I decided to just use a single piece of rosewood so that I have a clear center line. One mistake I probably made in trying to glue up the neck blank is that I didn't use dowels. So when I placed everything in, put the glue in, had the layers ready, and I went to clamp and I turned it, in the end, some of the layers of veneers folded under strips of timber. So when I placed it flat and I thought the base was flat, in fact, some of the strips of timber were slightly raised on one end or another. So in the end, I wasn't sure that I would be able to get a thick enough neck blank. Thankfully, after planing down, I do have a nice thick enough neck blank. So, so this is the neck blank that I have. And in the next video, we'll continue work on this mock up for the truss rod, the headstock, and turn it into a neck. Initially, I was planning to order rain tree wood or monkey pod for the body. But in the end, I decided let's just use timbers that I already have. We'll use that for the body. And then for the top, I used the same table saw to resaw the rest of that Nara plank. What I have currently, and it's more than long enough to be well, four strips wide. So I'll have to take the most interesting parts cut it out and put it together for the top. And that'll be in the next video as well. What sort of shape should I use for the body of the guitar? Well, let's think back. My friend Leslie bought his BMW E34 20 years ago, but it was a 1991 model. Back in 1991, I had but one guitar. It was a no-name clone of Les Paul. And I thought, let's start with that single cut shape and modify it. Now, I know this is a one-off guitar, but I feel I need a template because I'll be working on the body and the top separately, routing them separately before I glue them together. So I do need a template to make sure the two halves match up. And I took that Les Paul shape, tweaked it a bit, and this is what I've got right now. So it's wide enough at this end to have the two sound holes and narrow at this end. So if you see where I've marked out the neck pickup, it's going to be a single coil pickup. So we'll have three pickups that are identically shaped. They're not the standard single coil pickups. I'll be using Burns Trisonic pickups. So that means for the switching, I'll have individual switches for each pickup, on, off, and to reverse the phase. And all I'll have is one knob, which would be a volume knob, will skip tone completely. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. And if you liked what you saw and you want to continue to follow this build, then maybe you want to subscribe and watch out for the next video, which will be out in about two to three weeks. In that, I will continue work on the neck, probably have a complete neck 
I'll work on the body blank, the cavities around it, and probably video four is where I'll start working on the aluminium covers for the uh, sound holes. Thank you again. Have a great day.